Hey everyone, welcome to another video on the JB hey. and Millie channel and today we're going to be continuing our playthrough of the DLC. So there's lots of exciting things that we're hoping to bring to you in regards to this. So the last time we were there um, Lottie was mentioning unlocking the school and also we want to be able to use some amiibos. Hopefully those new series 5 ones. Um, that was strange, did I like miss where it said work? Did I say see someone? But yeah, so it was. Hopefully, we'll be able to scan in some of the new Series Five amiibos soon as well, and show like their functionality. So yeah. Yeah, like if you really want to see us or anyone in general opening up some of the new Series Five amiibo card packs, we do have two parts currently out on the channel now. Really amazing. We actually got incredible luck. Not only finding them, but the pulls as well. You really don't want to miss those. And probably more announcements on them, to, on them to come. Oh, so I just can't wait for this. I think this update is amazing. Like, for all Nintendo, it does have its downfalls. I don't think they've handled Amiibo card distribution particularly well. And I think that there's definitely some things that people would want. But suffice to say, I think that everyone is in agreement that it's really revived the community if you all you need to do is look on animal crossing twitter to see people sharing the most amazing designs so huge thank you to nintendo for this awesome awesome update oh look oh is that tasha that's amazing oh a diva gloria i don't know any of these but i just know i like them i think gloria i think diva's a frog Okay, so we need to get you in your uniform anyway, and then we can choose which one of these you want a holiday home for next. Yeah, and I think this is one of the first times seeing this part of the island in the daytime for us as well, so kind of new settings, which I'm really excited about. Whoa, what is it? Is that a cannon? Piggyback. <gasps> no, that thing. That It looks like one of those old... War cannons, like next to the left hand side of the piggy bank. Wow. What is it? I'm sure it's like a letter or confed. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't think we're getting paid enough, you know. Everything, oh, especially the chandelier. There's just so many cool things. Actually, when I was cleaning up the island off channel, I found something. It's like, I don't know what they call it, but I'm gonna have to showcase it at some point. It looks awesome, but it's like a wall hanging thing. Mm. Okay, ready for work. So I wonder what we have in store. I guess it is just a case of building up the portfolio until we get more rights. I've heard that stuff like expanding it's either expanding walls or putting up partitions is locked until after your eighth eighth house so it does seem like it's a progression there plenty of orange an office see an office might be fun to make what is i, don't know. I think the office or something yeah i'd say the either Either the office for the theme, or if there's one of the islanders here that you really want. Let's, let's do the office, yeah? Oh, so that's making one for Sydney. Aww, they've been dreaming about finding a vacation home. That's amazing. I think they're in very good hands, you know. Me too. Go, JV. Oh, wow. So, oh, like you said, this is the first time seeing this in the daylight. Oh my gosh, and you can see just Gruff working out in the background. Oh, Gruff, no way. That's so wholesome. A working vacation. Do you want a stack of paper, waste paper bin, and some plants? So... That's pretty standard, right? Like, they've got office supplies, but also some things for kind of mental health support, so... I like that. Or just green in general, because I guess offices have a tendency to be a bit bland. Not in aesthetic, necessarily, but I guess it's always the kind of brown desk or grey desk, white walls, something like that, so... 
maybe we can have like a fun office. I kind of want to experiment. I don't know how off the like topic we can be, but I like the idea of a zen office or something like that. Like one that you can almost have fun with, but I guess it all depends on what they give us when we're there more than anything. So now, Sydney, we found an excellent location for you, you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. JB, please lead Sydney to the site and best of luck. We're a professional at this point, maybe look at, well, maybe we still need luck, who knows. And I just love that little thing there, that needs to be a sticker at some point. You got the cherry blossoms. Okay. So, but the gar the garden's not going to be officey, is it? I guess. Or if it's working, is it any type of profession? Because for all the inside is an office, are we to assume that in the garden they're going to want to work like a gardener? Like, I don't know. It's probably a weird thing to say in hindsight. I don't quite know what's happening. No, I'm kind of thinking that, like, it could almost be outside of an office, if that makes sense. Yeah, so are you thinking car park? Or... No, I guess I was just thinking, like, something relatively natural. Okay, I'll go for that. That sounds nice. Okay, so sorry, I was just waiting for the, you know, the little blue box there. Oh, also, we kind of need, like, advice. And I think a lot of the comments will just be that it's over. But on our, like, main set of Joy-Cons that we got with the Nintendo Switch, I think the one that came with it, the red and blue ones, the right Joy-Con where you push down, say, on Minecraft to run or on here to remove the border from the camera, that doesn't push down anymore. So we can't get rid of the border or anything. We've got quite a... F well, we've got a few, like, spare Joy-Cons, but... If, you, if anyone knows of a way to fix that, that would be helpful, but I think I've come to terms with the fact that they're just kind of broken for those purposes at, at this point, but I don't know. I know that some people are quite tech savvy. Oh, wow. So, is the stuff that we've been given for out here the same stuff that we're going to be given inside? Or does it change? I think to some extent. Um, yeah, I think generally speaking, this is what we have available. Oh, I like that, you know. Oh, that's making me want to go to work. Look at all these. Mm. Oh, but it also seems like eventually we build up a portfolio. So we've got Gruff's creepy skeletons as well from a couple of episodes back. Yeah, so if you... This is the order. Like the three things I'm recommended... This is everything. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I guess requirements on then inventory or guidelines. I like that. I love the topiary. Oh, that would be cool. Like, if... And maybe this is the case. I don't kind of want too many spoilers at this point. But could you imagine a plot twist? Like, we've already had the mirror to work on our hairstyles. Could you imagine if Harriet were to, was to come in as, like... With the scissors, as a topiary artist, almost? I think that would be great. Like, almost you could use everything as a framework for topiary, so you could make a topiary version of the Godzilla statue. I don't yeah. know. I don't think that is the case, but it just got me thinking then. Like, topiary is one of the coolest things, 
And I just think Harriet would kind of fit that role, especially with us already having the mirror, but I think Harriet is just coming into the update with some new hairstyles, which is cool. Maybe one will even suit me better than the one I have now. Who knows? Ooh, I like that. It seems very cosy. Thank you. I would stay there. Okay. Oh. That's sweet. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have here. I almost want to try and live, is the word not vicarious? Like, I kind of want to live through the point of view of Sydney now, purely for the fact that I guess in an ideal world, one day we'd almost have like a little relaxing space to work. So I kind of want to like imagine in my head what we would have or what we'd want from that type of setup. Oh wow, I love what you're doing. Yeah, I kind of feel this design right now. It's a vibe. I'm almost wanting to create an outdoor space that's almost tidy and professional, but at the same time when you've been staring at a computer screen for five hours, it's good to go outside. Yeah. Well, I guess they need that, technically, and I'm going to sound like a bit of a boomer saying this, but genuinely, like, too much time, like, focusing on a screen in depth probably isn't the best thing in the world, even though, like, with the amount of uploading we've been doing, I've probably reached that stage at this point, but, I don't know, I think it will eventually provide a great contrast when you get to the functional way of the inside to then get out to complete green bliss. So I do like it. And the flowers are just so nice. And they almost fit with the cherry blossoms as well. That's true. Like they don't look on pink, although I get red and pink confused a lot, so. Some flowers. So what oh, this is the third or fourth one that we've done now, right? Tempted to say fifth. Because there was Eloise, there was one after Eloise, and then there was Gruff, and then we did one after Gruff that wanted the arcade. So Ooh. that was four, this is five. I can't for the life of me remember who wanted the arcade now. And I feel like I should know. I feel somewhat ashamed. Oh, could you imagine if that just like set it up for you? That would have been amazing. Yeah, like if they got the gist of what we were trying to do. Do you reckon that would be a viable solution in like the future of Animal Crossing, almost an auto designer? Like. I don't know, like, if there's a pattern of a player putting the same flower on a... <laughs> nah, I, get, I don't know. I... They just did it there, look. I've just been... I think I've just been... I, I, I don't know what I've been doing. My mind's fried. Blue hydrangea, holly bush. That's nice and seasonal. Ooh! So the hardwood tree conforms to the season. I guess it's a bit more obvious when you consider like stuff like winter and things. But I wasn't expecting a cherry blossom though. That's really nice. the hill for like is it mandatory like to have it i guess we could remove it if we wanted to but 
We probably wouldn't want to. No, I think it's like just so you're working with different layouts and have to consider different designs, then they're giving you that ramp. Hmm, yeah. I was a bit curious about rocks functionally. I'm trying to think. Office. What would be outside of an office? I Ooh, guess. Is that? Whoa. Short, yeah. simple panel. Can that be customised? I do love the new different like colours that they've done for these. I think the ones we had before was green and white maybe? Possibly brown. But definitely not blue unless that's just been like one of the coolest customizations that have escaped my notice. I'm thinking it could be. Like it's, it was already in the game, we just didn't notice yeah. it. Ooh, that's a bit sneaky. I almost feel like I've missed out. I would have tried to like trade with someone. Just because I, I like I've enjoyed this furniture a lot, so I feel like I remember. But I'd never used the blue, but I feel like it was there. I mean, I think all will be revealed when we get recent Cyrus in Harv's Island, because from what I gather in terms of recent Cyrus, um, they will not only customize stuff like the lighthouse and Godzilla. But also stuff that you get in Nook's Cranny as well. Which means bye bye yellow washing machine. Oh, that's amazing. This is actually ridiculously peaceful, you know. I'm wishing we could move her. Should we go for it? We find it kind of peaceful to build, you know. It seems almost like a like a not a seaside, but like a lakeside restaurant. You know, like you'd see it on holiday almost. Mm, thank you. Well, what I was thinking, like here, I'm putting more than one table because I'm kind of thinking, if it's an office, you might have more than one people working there and stuff. I think it'd just be nice to have a seeing area, but at the same time, I actually don't like that. Okay, ignore me. Would there be changing facilities outside or a closet or something? A vending machine, but I don't know if you'd put that outside or not. I guess bikes? Then again, it's an island, so the only way people could physically get there would be a boat, wouldn't it? But you could bring a boat on a bike. Like if it's a commute to the actual boat that takes you there. Yeah, and those cliffs, they've got to lead somewhere. Yeah. Okay, I think I like that for- oh, wait a second, that's annoying. Forgot to send to the bench. There you go, I think I like that a lot for outside. Mm. So Whoa. like I said, the vibe that I'm going for outside is just getting the break from the office. It can be nice to just sit under the trees, have some tea, like you said, the bike for getting there. Just to enjoy the wildlife up here too. 
I like the setting. I think you've done awesome. I think this might be your best garden that you've made so far. Thank you. I certainly like it a lot. And now it's time to to make Sydney's office. I don't know what to expect. Because like, instantly when I hear office, I'm thinking Michael Scott, that type of vibe. I don't know how much you could make an office distinct and different, but I suppose at this stage, you don't really need it to be. It just needs to be nice and functional. And it's going to be so cute when you get to see them admire it later. Yeah. But I guess there's different types of office. You could fill it with fax machines and make it almost like a 90s, early 2000s office. Or you could, like, deck it out with modern computers. Like, there's different genres of office, as weird as it sounds. You could even do, like, a call centre. That's something else as well. It's like almost location. So for example, I'm thinking about a UK office, but in terms of a US office, that will likely have something that one of those big fans on the top or like a modern day cooling system, which I don't think they'd ever have in a UK office, would they? It's already freezing here. Like, do you have any concepts, like, in mind, you know, where it's going to be, or are you just going to just make standard, standard office? That's, that looks nice. Um, I guess I've not fully decided. Some of these items are kind of throwing me off because oh, I wouldn't have wanted to incorporate them ordinarily. I guess that's part of the challenge though. And almost, this is exploring the game like we've never explored before. It's kind of putting us in a position where we need to consider different items with each other. And also it's different villages as well because... I suppose we could make a really cool looking office, but it might not suit the Sydney character. So, I don't know. I, I In a way, I, I definitely don't envy you being the one that has to design it. But at the same time, I really do. But it, it's, it's difficult. But I think by like, you know, the next one or the next two, I think it will just be like nature, right? Like, like second nature. And speak to me, Jibby. How are you feeling about designing? Is it something that you want to try out next, or...? I think eventually, but uh, with me, because we've, we're in, like, a lucky position where we can almost share the workload and share what we do and what we're playing. If there's, like, a theme that they mention and I'm like, oh, I've got a really good concept for that, at that stage, I'd, I, I'd kind of like to think that I could take over regardless of... You know what I mean? Of, of what, unless you're really passionate about it as well, then I wouldn't want to take it away from you. But say, what what would I love to design? Say, I don't want to say gaming room or library. I guess toy room. I think in the first island, like the first time we did this, an islander was saying, I think it was one of the pigs, I want to be surrounded by cuddly toys. And then I could almost imagine a toy shop in my head. If it was something like that where, like, I, it just took me, then I'd say, okay, I really want to make that. But I wouldn't be above, like, getting halfway through it, then going, okay, I don't think this is going well, can you please take over or offer some help? So ultimately, if the theme's right, I'd, I'd do it. That's great.
sorry, I've just realised that I've been so engrossed in this design. And I've been like silent. Um, I'm just trying to work out what I want to put in the kitchen. I guess. Well, we can think about our office space. Maybe a microwave, a coffee it's machine. Oh, a yeah. water cooler. Do you have one of them? That we don't have no. one, but like, oh, that's like almost like a staple of an office. Do you have a staple? No. Okay, computers. Ooh. Oh. See, these definitely weren't all available before, right? I'm not having that. No, I don't think they were. Wow, okay. Right. I've I've been a bit quiet. We're we're so busy lately. I, I'm dealing with the comment section that is it's going a bit mad. But is that oh there is a water cooler. There Can is. I have it? No 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> Not available. I don't think an office would have a gaming chair, would it? Well, it. Oh, I don't know. I guess it's always very subjective, and it's not. It's easy to get wrapped up in like mis like preconceptions and cliches, but I'm literally just thinking plain office. Whereas people work at any time for all purposes because of the you know, everything that the world's been through at the moment. We could literally make a bedroom, normal bedroom, nothing unusual to it except it's got a computer on it. Yeah, that's and that's true. arguably an office now. In fact, not arguably, it kind of is, like... Like, this is kind of our office, really, isn't it? Yeah, in theory. I don't know. So, stationary... Wow. Oh my gosh, you can even sit down like that now. That's sick. See, this is my ideal office environment. Laptop, coffee, books. I kind of want to move the coffee to centre the laptop because I don't like that it's not in the middle. Maybe. Well, I guess there's no way of doing that. If Animal Crossing were to go on to make more updates, you could do so many specifics with it. Like I'm always imagining a situation where you can flip a surface item to like a bird's eye view and then choose like block by block where you want things. But Okay, what else? Because I feel like this one's a bit empty. Pictures. Well, that, that again will disrupt the desk, though. But I think there's also kind of a cliche thing where you've got pictures of loved ones on your desk, lockers potentially, because people getting in, they might have office keys or a backpack. Oh yeah, safe's a good call. A whiteboard. This is cool. I'm thinking if we take inspiration from our office, that's like magazine delivery day, right? Yeah. Although, I think we get a few more boxes than that, but... Oh, if only... I like the plants though. This actually looks like a pretty cool office. 
boxes. Maybe new office then, potentially. That's like the storyline we're going for. Either it's getting a delivery or maybe it's new. Maybe they're unpacking. Who knows? Okay, those boxes look too big, actually. We're getting rid of them. Um, All of them. Yeah. See, I think maybe I'm making a bit of a mistake in that one thing that I'm bearing in mind is that you can keep going back to edit these, you know, as you unlock more items. So I'm kind of taking it for granted that this isn't the final draft, if that makes sense. Because... I don't think this looks very harmony, like harmony, I don't know what word I'm looking for here. Harmonious, That's maybe the, the word. One. I, don't know. I think it looks a bit busy, kind of like a new office. So I'm drawing on things from places where we've worked. So um, we worked in a call centre where there was like a little water pump thing that you could keep going to. Where we work now has obviously got a printing room. We work for a magazine, so magazine delivery day. We have a trolley like this where we have to go out and get them. I worked in a law firm and also a store, so a safe's quite prominent. Um, as it is now, we, you know, we're at a desk all day with our laptops. So, and also um, we kind of work making awareness for like other businesses and stuff as well. So like a box of supplies like this when you go out for promotion meetings. Mm. And then... For lunch, just like a little kitchen area where there's like a pot of tea, kind of your shopping, your food you bring in for the day. Do we have access to that item that hangs on the walls where you can hold keys? Or am I just making that item up? Um. Because that's kind of an officey thing, right? This is quite nice. Uh... Well, all security cameras might be a thing. An alarm. I guess we've worked in places where we've had to set alarms. Radiators. Mm, the wall's kind of a little bit full for that, I think. Yeah. But... That's it, you know, for a first draft. I think outside's better than inside. I might just see what we can do in terms of polishing things up a little bit. Oh, like literally polishing? Yeah, why not? Yeah. You got a nice little hat there as well. Woo. Scrub, scrub, scrub. I like that. That's really sweet. See what clothes they have. Mm, there's even a good variety here. I guess if I were to say for work. It's Sydney. Oh, 
Oh, I'm looking very professional there. Although I think we've yet to find an item where the polishing changes the nature of it as opposed to the sparkle. Oh, yeah, like the ones where there was like birds flying yeah, around and stuff. Butterflies. Well, butterflies, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking that could be the picture. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see them admiring it. Maybe they'll like even like have a little type on the laptop and stuff. It's ready. Oh. This is amazing. This is always one of my favourite parts so far. Although I wonder if it is possible to mess it up. I don't want to try, but you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't imagine they just start like slating what you've made. <laughs> So let's see what their verdict is. We'll wait with bated breath. Thank you so much. I'd never been able to make my room this nice if I did it myself, Sunshine. Feel free to hang out and relax a bit if you have time, JB. Um, I guess we need to take photos. I, I guess we've already did that, we? so we just need to head back. Hmm. So I wonder if we can get a pokey rise at some point. We might need to ask Lottie to do it. I imagine when we increased the size of the house and like when they talked about that facility where you can do the decoration for more than one villager. Maybe. Okay. Oh. So, more things from Nika. Why not go chat to her? Okay. Let's go chat to him. Wait, is that a trumpet? I think so. Sorry. There was like a... Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's find Nico. Ooh, who's... Okay. Is it Ali? Yeah. Yo, looking for a boat ride? Hmm. Oh, Lottie sent you to talk to me. What could that be about? Oh right, so glad you remembered. I did have something to talk to you about. Oh my gosh, is that a DIY? What could that be though from what we've seen? Is it the room extender? kind of cool that adding to the lore of the universe that DIY recipes aren't really things lying around the whole Animal Crossing universe it's just a little secluded island with Tom Nook I'm just trying to think what could it be it must be something substantial right for them to highlight it this much oh or not I mean maybe every so often we get that though so it's like building to maybe. a little Almost a furniture set. One theory I've got, I just want to speak to Orville and see if you scanning the amiibos here on was like they're bringing them to the island. Nah. Hmm. So there's still no news on that or expanding or anything, but we did get our first new DIY for like the new items and ingredients and stuff. So that is... I like that, you know, it's not too bad, especially if you can literally use it as a stool and sit there. Like, it, I don't know, it's like you're on a massive Brussels sprout. <laughs> That's true. Oh gosh, I can't unsee that now. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> okay, so I guess that does it for this video. Like I said, we're continuing the playthrough of the DLC, Series 5 unboxings, and so much more. So for all that, please like, comment, and subscribe. JB and Millie.